So in September of 2019, Apple had their yearly iPhone event and they announced three new iPhones. The iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But the phone that stood out from the lot was the iPhone 11 as it offered more than its predecessor the iPhone XR but at the same time had a lower price tag. Hey guys what's going on it's your boy Major Boy and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 11 and telling you guys why I think that the iPhone 11 is the best all-in-one video creation device out there. But before we can get to that let's roll the intro and then let's get right into it. So let's start off our video with the most controversial component of this phone, the display. The iPhone 11 has a 6.1 inch liquid retina LCD panel with a resolution of 1792 into 828, a pixel per inch of 326 and has a wide P3 color gamut with a max screen brightness of 625 nits. Now due to the resolution, you cannot view Full HD videos on the iPhone 11 which is really disappointing for a $700 phone. And with a pixel density of 326, it sounds like a pretty mediocre display on paper. But in reality, this display is awesome. Let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro display to you know, give you an idea of how good each display is. You can see the iPhone 11 display is not that different from the iPhone 11 Pro's. Yes, colors like black look much better on the Pro due to the Pro having an OLED panel. But the iPhone 11 while having a resolution of 828p and a pixel density of 326 can still look very crisp and can hold its ground against the Pro. Now that we're done talking about the display, let's talk about the chip that's powering this device. Now every year whenever Apple releases a new iPhone, they like to flex a bit with their hardware and their hardware being their processors which for the last two years have been amazing in performance. So last year we got the 812 Bionic chip which is so powerful that it outperforms the latest Android chipsets like the Snapdragon 855 and the 855 Pro. But Apple being Apple came out with an even more powerful chipset called the A13 Bionic chip which just slaughtered the competition. The A13 Bionic is a 6 core CPU with a max clock speed of 2.5 GHz. It has two high performance cores and four high efficiency cores. With an inbuilt four core GPU that handled the two most graphically demanding games out there on the App Store with ease. The two games of course being COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile. And here is some gameplay to show how they perform. Along with the beastly A13 chip, the iPhone 11 also has 4GB of RAM which is an upgrade from the XR which had 3GB of RAM. The 11 also comes in 3 storage configurations, 64GB at $700, 128GB at $750 and 256GB at $800. When it comes to the speakers of the iPhone 11, it has dual down firing speakers which get pretty loud but at the same time don't lose on quality. This is because the new iPhone 11 has Dolby Atmos support due to which speech will be more clearer and sounds will be more dynamic and crisp. And as always, here is a speaker test with Dolby Atmos. So please plug in your earphones and your headphones
problems and let's get right into it. Now let's talk about the most important feature of this phone and that is its battery. The iPhone 11 has a 3110mAh battery which is an improvement from the iPhone XS 2940mAh battery. Now in my testing if I gave my phone demanding tasks like video editing or gaming then I would have to once again charge my phone in the day. But when I'm doing regular tasks like calling, messaging on WhatsApp, scrolling through Instagram and watching YouTube videos then the phone's battery would last me the entire day and sometimes even next morning which is amazing. Okay now that we're done with the battery let's talk about the star feature of the iPhone 11 and that is its cameras. The iPhone 11 now has a dual lens setup compared to its predecessor which had a single camera. The first is a wide angle camera with the f1.8 aperture plus optical image stabilization and the second is an ultra wide camera with the f2.4 aperture. The iPhone 11 also has 2x optical zoom and a 5x visibility. Both cameras can record in both I think the ultra wide and the wide is the best combination for the 11 as it is really hard to back up for a shot than zooming in. And when it comes to zooming in, you do have that 5 time digital zoom, which does reduce quality but honestly, it's not a big deal. But by far the biggest update came with the front facing camera, which for the past 2 years has been a 7 megapixel camera. Now the front facing camera has been upgraded to 12 megapixels and can record 4K 60fps video. And it can also take slow, oh uh, no no sorry 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 wrong word. Um, yeah, slow motion front facing videos. There are a few new neat features in the 11's camera that take the whole experience to another level. The first one being quick video, which allows you to hold down the photo button to start shooting a video. I find this feature pretty useful because sometimes you want to record the moment in video, but by the time you come to the video section, the moment has already passed away. But now with quick video, you can just hold down the photo button and instantly start recording saving you a lot of time. And the other feature being deep fusion, which captures even the smallest details on your subject, giving your photography a professional look. The iPhone 11 also has a new mode which makes you brighter than the sun in the most darkest areas. And that feature of course being night mode and I cannot tell you how much I love this mode in particular. Now to give you guys an idea of how good the photos of the iPhone 11 look, here are a few examples shot from the iPhone 11. The reason why I'm not showing you the video capabilities of this phone is because this entire review is shot on the iPhone 11, so I don't need to really give you guys any reference shots. Just watch the entire video and tell me down in the comments below what do you think about the video quality. There are two methods of charging this phone. The first one being the lightning port which supports fast charging and the second method being wireless charging. And this is possible because the iPhone 11 has a glass back. Now Apple claims that the back glass on the iPhone 11 is the toughest glass out there on a smartphone. But at the end of the day, glass is glass. So please don't go outside trying to test how durable your iPhone is by throwing it around like these maniacs. One. Now when it comes to water resistance, the iPhone 11 can be underwater to up to 2 meters for 30 minutes and has an IP68 water resistant rating. Well biometrics have always been a strong point of Apple and Face ID is faster than ever this year. The only complaint I'll have with Face ID is that it's not unidirectional, like you still need to hold your iPhone 11 or Pro or Pro Max in a certain direction for it to recognize your face and then unlock it. Unlike the iPad Pro where you can hold the iPad Pro in any direction and it will still recognize your face. Only thing being, the sensors have to face you. Like that's common sense. And it's really disappointing to see that they did not bring their advanced face ID from their iPad Pro onto their iPhones. As you know, their iPhones are their biggest money makers. Now that we're done talking about the specs, 
Let me tell you guys why I think that the iPhone 11 is the best all-in-one video content creation device out there and my experience using it as one. Now when I mean all-in-one, I mean going from shooting to editing on the same device. You see, if you want to shoot professional videos on the iPhone, you need to have manual control over all of your camera settings and that is something that the native camera cannot provide. So for that reason, I tried to find an app that actually gives you just that. And guess what? I found it. And that app is called Filmic Pro. Now this is a paid application, but what it offers you for the price is just amazing. You have full control over your exposure settings, over your focus, over your white balance, and you can also control your saturation and vibrance levels. And the result of the footage is right in front of you. So again, tell me down in the comments below what do you think about Filmic Pro's video quality from the iPhone 11. When it comes to video editing on iOS, there is no better app out there then LumaFusion, which gives you 6 tracks of audio and 6 tracks of video with some amazing color correction tools. This app is so amazing that you can also do things like green screen effects in them and you can also import in LUTs. That's how powerful this app is. So how is my experience using this setup? You see, I'm working on the Oculus Quest review and I wanted to add this transition in my video in which I go from the physical world into the virtual world through the VR headset's lens. So I tried to do just that. I tried to make the entire effect on the iPhone 11 and here is the result. You see, LumaFusion has some neat features like touch arrows on sliders, which allow you to do precise edits even on a small screen. The other feature being able to change your layout which really helps you when you only want to use your video timeline without your photos coming in the way. So is the iPhone 11 really worth it? Well in my opinion it definitely is. You see for the price it offers a lot like a crazy processor, amazing cameras, great battery life and an amazing display. Yes, it does have its drawbacks like not having a high resolution, high refresh rate display like its competitors and not having the same sleek bezels like its more expensive option, the iPhone 11 Pro. But the 11's advantages outweigh its disadvantages and if you have an iPhone XR or an iPhone 8 then you should definitely upgrade to this if you're willing to. But if you have an iPhone XS Max then you should still buy this phone, it's really good. Yes, the display is gonna be a bit downgraded from the XS Max, but everything else is gonna be much more superior to the XS Max. So if you're in the market looking for a phone that has some amazing processing power, a great display, and an awesome battery life with some great cameras, then there's no going wrong with the iPhone 11. So save up your money, and buy this phone. Well guys, that's all for today. Tell me down in the comments below what do you think about the iPhone 11. If you liked this video, then please leave a big fat thumbs up on it. But if you loved it, then please subscribe to the channel. Guys, we have crossed 500 subscribers already. We are at 506. So just subscribe. Let's start hit 600 by the end of the year. And as always, this is your boy, Major Boy, signing off for today. And I'll see you in the next one.